In this video, I will show you how you can create a Stripe payment button that you can put it into your WordPress website or any other website with an HTML block. So putting payment button in Stripe is not easy. So you can use this method, for example, if you are not able to connect Stripe directly using like plugins or certain things with, with Stripe, right? So you just want to have the button, right? So this method is very good for that. And the moment people click the button, they can immediately go to a checkout page in Stripe and then they can give you the information and you get the money. So this is one way you can do it. And yep, without further ado, let me just go in my computer and I can show you how you can do it. So let's go. All right, first of all, you log in into your Stripe dashboard. So as you can see here, currently I'm doing test data so that I can you know, just create things without messing up with my Stripe account, right? So the first thing you need to do is go to settings. Go to checkout settings. Go to enable client only integration. If you don't do this step, the button option won't, won't be appearing, right? So you need to do this step first, right? Go to enable client only integration. So uh, your product ID will be made public, just to click allow. Then you see there's a few new steps. So I've already included the domain which I can use for this project, right? So this is all the domains. Uh, you can add more domain, for example, uh, the www, make sure you put it in as well. So you can add all the domains here. Next thing you need to do is go to products. So as you can see, there are two test products already. Uh, you can just add a new product. Just as an example, right? Then you can even add a picture if you want to. Then you go to pricing. So I'll choose a standard pricing. There's a few ways you can do it. So I put standard pricing. Just explore the pricing here. All right. So for now, I want for example one US dollar. I take for example five hundred dollars for consulting, right? And I want it for one time. An ID is just a payment ID. If you want to put it, if not, then just leave it. So there's a price you as well. You just put it. Then all you need to do is just save product. And then that's it. Then it's here already, right? The next thing you need to do is go to pricing there, and you click these three dots. Go all the way to pricing click the three dots and you can see this option get checkout code snippet the thing that we do for, yeah, the settings uh, before, uh, during the early of this video is is to have this enabled if you don't do the, the start process you won't see this get checkout snippet you only have edit price archive price and delete price so once you do that you can you can only have this check get checkout code snippet right and then you just have to copy this and then this will be the button this is actually a button design as you can see here button I'll show it, I'll just put it for example into a WordPress page so they can have a look and see what's the difference, how it looks like, right? Another important thing you need to take care of is the success and the cancel URL. You have to make sure that it go to a site. If you don't go to a site, then it's going to be a problem. They will have some error and the pop-up won't show up, right? You won't go to the next page. This success URL and cancel URL is, is very important. Up to you whether you want to put success and cancel, but the, the name you cannot change. Let me just try to change for example. Done, right? So as you can see, it's not changed. So you might you can put a page here. Say success is go to you can do redirect as well. What I did, I did redirect. The error pages will all go to canadawiki.com. So uh, all these pages will redirect to a page. At least it works. Now where are you gonna change this, right? The success and the cancel you can't change it, but the domain can change. So where do you change this domain, right? Uh, this domain is the main website for your uh, Stripe account. So let me show you. We can change it. Right, you cannot change it here, you can only change it through there and then the success and cancel, these are fixed. Right? Unless uh, if you know your, your coding very well, you can change it here as well. Once you put the code, you can just change the success and cancel URL. But let me just show you where you're going to put this. You're going to have error if this do not go anywhere. Uh, I, I've been trying just uh, a few times. If you were to use other websites, I even tried Facebook and it, it do not work. So you have to have a success and fail the cancel URL, which you can change here on itself as well. But if you want to change it here, you can only go in, do it in your account. You go to settings, go to business details, then you click on the pencil icon, then you scroll all the way down, and you go to the business website and you change it here. Then when you change it here, you automatically be there. Now let's go back to the product. So click on this product again. And then click on these three dots, get the checkout code snippet. So there's a few things I've go through, whether where you how do you enable this checkout snippet and how do you change the URL. So now let's embed this 
HTML into a WordPress page. Uh, you have any HTML editor, for example, uh, WordPress. WordPress will be the, the simplest to do it. Let's go to WordPress. So this is a sample WordPress I have. So uh, for example, the sample page, you see there's, there's no button, right? So now let's go edit the page. So for WordPress, uh, anything that can have the HTML widget, you just have to put it there. Then the button will work already, right? So I just want to add a new widget, HTML code. So now let me show you the code, how it look like. So you just go to here, just copy it, put it here, right? Um, for this, I need to put it as custom HTML, right? So that it will appear as text. And then when you preview, you can see there's a button. Now let's see how it looks like in when you update it. There, you see a big button here. You need to do some CSS work to change the design, right? But let me show you what happens when you click on the checkout button. So when you click on the checkout button, you will go to Stripe, right? So this is a test mode. If you were to put the picture in the product here, you will appear here. On top of the client consultation, there will be a picture here. Then you just fill out information, then that's it, right? That is how you can just create a checkout button here. If, of course, uh, where you want to do the design part is, let me just go to HTML. So this is the, the button here, the button, the style are all here, all here, right? So you can do a design here, you can do the change the color, change the padding, the, the background color, for example, you need black, then you come to first, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, zero. And then you need to be center, for example. Just an example, uh, there's a lot of things, do you can check it out this this video is not about CSS uh, but you can you can play around with it and just update and just preview there you can see it changed color and it's right in the middle click on the button you still go to the checkout page so that is how easily you can create um, not really easy <laughs> but it's not as direct as like PayPal where you can have a link uh, but this is how you can create a button in Stripe and put it into a WordPress website or any related website that can embed HTML. So yeah, thank you. Yep, that's it. That's how you can create a Stripe payment button and put it into your WordPress website. Uh, if you like what I shared and you find this useful, do feel free to like this video and if you have not subscribed to this channel, this channel talks a lot about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. So if you're interested in this kind of topic, do consider subscribing to this channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share to people that you think it could be helpful. And with that, thank you very much for watching this video and I see you in my next video. Goodbye.